Okay, so now... Near the top left are those four statues. Pull out the third statue with the mighty gloves. Because even though I've got a guide, I am still looking to see, like... Is the... Like, how would I actually solve this puzzle? Uh, well, the only clue here is that one of them can be pulled. Without with that light labyrinth puzzle, I still don't know the actual solution to that. Oh, come on. Well, we'll get to see this, at least. Look, at this, some of these enemies just don't do anything. One survived? Dude. <laughs> and it still doesn't do anything. Okay. Strange enemies. Anyway. Is that opened? This door. Here we have four gravestones. A man comes forth seeking change and trusted by the people. He becomes an advocate for the future. Demons use the dragons to devastate the planet, causing grief to many. As time goes by, the demons descend to benumb the humans and the elves with their cold power. The primordial old impulse, the surge of Gaia, the Vasim blacksmiths, with the flame in hand, the first to embrace this primordial chaos. So, Tindercrest, Freezer, Boomerang, Change. There we go. Also, I've got to say, I love the backgrounds in this in this area. We have this the static sort of um, uh, reflection. It's interesting how they probably did this as well. I think I kind of know how they did it because in a lot of games you have a, a skybox area, right, which represents the sky, and it's usually a separate area. That's specifically designed to be like a miniature version of the sky that is then placed over the playing area wherever you may be so it's always centered on where it should look right I think what they've done here is make the skybox just the playing area itself and instead of being focused on the skybox object, it's focused on us. And then they added a little static filter onto it as well. Because <laughs> uh, I've done that myself in uh, Unreal Engine. It's very fun. Oh, we have a block puzzle here now. It's not actually that difficult. Now on to the next disaster. 
A flash hit pierces your body. I am the power that blurs down light in an instant. Oh, I forgot to equip my light resist. <gasps> Not that it matters. Here we get to see this one. Our goadies. You can sort of see how they're reusing existing animations there. Because his animation for charging up the shot, I think, was just his getting damaged animation, I think. Something like that. But anyway, you know how this ends. Even without preparation, these fights are quite easy. This is the best Beatrice has got. Jeez. Anyway. Exodus out just because it's quicker. Even if we're not planning to leave, it gets us back to the entrance sooner. Next is this one. First, we're going to grab one of these and hit the switch. Yeah, as far as final dungeons go, I like this one. I like that it's not just one big labyrinth. I like that they've got like places where you can go rest. I just think it's nicely designed. Unfortunately, I hate this room. Um, yep, follow the snake. It's one of those puzzles. Which I'm not very good at. <sighs> there was something like this at this sand canal as well. I was not good at it there. This one's even harder. Especially because you can just instantly fall off if your pinky toe touches the floor. Oh, okay. Oh. Hopefully there's no more of that. It's like there's more of that. Well, this one branches off into different paths as well, which makes it even harder. Some of the paths it branches off to just aren't the right path. And now the trick there is it doesn't connect with the floor, so I have to aim. I have to aim the change crest and teleport over. Finally. Changing the camera angle helped to that last shot of it a little bit. The Aqua Wisp summons your death and the power that washes away and engulfs all. Sure, bud. And here's the Assault Tide. They did do a really good job of sync up the animations here. It actually looks pretty good. It's almost wild that my first playthroughs I never made use of Final Stars because I just had no idea how it worked. I did all these fights without the instant win button. Anyways... So next... Hmm... 
Oh, this is sneaky. You see, right above us, there's something there that you just can't see. They get sneaky on you here. Yeah, what's this guy got going for us? What puzzles hast thou planned for us? Oh. Okay. I assume the puzzle is just get to the other side. Is that it? Okay. <clears throat> Not your best, Beatrice, but fine. Not, not too difficult. Next disaster. Uh, terror raw blusters, I'm the power that pounds and crushes all. Sure thing, but whatever you say. Planet Breaker. I do wonder if these are custom animations. They, they actually animated the uh, thing instead of reusing the existing animations. A lot of effort to go for a one-off <laughs> one thing. <laughs> the summer didn't even need to use flying starts. Okay, let's check it out. So now there is two more to get. Now, right, so there should be one doll left. This one, with a crack in it. It's time to Zelda. Oh boy. Uh. <sighs> Not too difficult if you just take your time. Of course, that's time for the advanced version. It is a little hard to see because of the way they do the static and the, the blending of uh, things in the background. Sometimes it is a little hard to actually see what's going on. Okay, the right path seems like a dead end. All right, we're done. Whew. The moon spark blackens the night. I am the power that eclipses all and awakens the blood of beasts. Merciless queen. Oh yeah, that's straight up is a custom animation. Hm. Neat. This seems like another one where we won't even need finest arts, I think. Because that does quite a bit of damage, which powers up our volume quite a bit. Is that slow percentage based damage, I think? 
I'll be honest, I never bothered to understand how Moonspark actually worked. Looks like it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Looks like it does about half. Based on how much health Virginia has left. Which is actually perfect for Valiant. Because <laughs> it means he can get us to very low health without killing us. That was incredibly easy. Well, oh, okay. That is all the d disasters defeated, I think. It's all the doors we can go through. So let's have one last exodus. Wicked aura oozes from beyond the door. I feel cold and nauseous. Pretty obvious, is it? Pretty obvious there's a pain in the behind monster waiting behind this door. Let's confront the enemy. I am Disaster, the power of the guards, Nightmare Castle. Your life ends here. We have one more disaster. Disaster luck. I don't. I don't think we've actually seen the luck summon. Because the, the the first tier and the third tier uh, mediums, we actually saw their attack animations because we fought them. But with the second tier ones, we never did, and I never actually used most of them. And I believe, if you get to this point without defeating the other disasters, I believe what happens is the disasters that are left alive merge into one and become like a, a multi-disaster. <laughs> Where they have access to diff the different elements of the ones you didn't kill. Something like that. Unlucky shot, let's see. He's tiny. Okay. <laughs> I am the Fortress of Seven, witness the destructive succession of Tiamat's disasters. Though my fortress may not be complete, I am still the foundation of this castle. Phase two! Against Tiamat. I'm going to kill in one shot, probably. Because it carries over from the previous fight, which means Jet is ready for finest starts right from the get go. Yep, one shot. <laughs> Didn't even get to see what he could do. But I believe Tiamat is the one that f um, fuses all powers of the previous disasters that he didn't kill. But with that, nothing else stands in our way. Only Beatrice remains. Let's take down a dream demon.